Hello students, welcome again to my channel DNA Don't Want to Education. Today we are going to discuss a new topic in mathematics. The topic is matrix. Mathematics series matrix is part two. Matrix multiplication. This video is presented by DNA.12 Education. Okay, so then, what is matrix multiplication? What is matrix multiplication? The main condition when we do the multiplication is the number of columns of the first matrix must equal the number of rows of the second matrix. Once again, the main condition when we do the multiplication of matrix is the number of columns of the first matrix must equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Look at this matrix A. Matrix A component is C, D, E, and F. And the matrix notation is A 2 times 2. And matrix B is the right side. Matrix B component is M. N, O, P, Q, R. So the matrix B notation is 2 times 3. For the matrix A, there are 4 components, 2 rows and 2 columns. But matrix B, there are six components consist of two rows and three columns. This row, the first row of matrix A, the second row of matrix A. Otherwise, this is the first column of matrix B, the second column of matrix B and the third column of matrix B. As I mentioned before, that matrix A notation is 2 times 2 because 2 rows and 2 columns. Otherwise, matrix B notation is 2 times 3 because matrix B has 2 rows and 3 columns. Okay, this is the main conditions when we do the multiplication of matrix. The number of the first column, okay, the number of columns of the first matrix must equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Once again, the number of columns of the first matrix must equal the number of rows of the second matrix. Okay, so that's, that's the main condition when we do the multiplication of matrix. Is it clear to you? So not all matrix can be multiplied. You have to check the condition of both matrix. The condition of both must satisfy the requirements of the two matrix can be multiplied. Once again, the main condition when we do multiplication of matrix is the number of the columns of the first matrix must equal the number of rows of the second matrix. 
Okay. Next. Okay, students, we go to next topic. What is matrix multiplication? Okay, so how do we multiply to matrices? How do we multiply to matrices? In order to multiply matrices, there are three, three steps. Step one, make sure that the number of columns in the first one equals the number of rows in the second one. The prerequisite to be able to multiply. Okay, so that's step one already explained, right? Now we go to the step two. Multiply the elements of each row of the first matrix by the elements of each column in the second matrix. Step two, multiply the elements of each row of the first matrix by the elements of each column in the second matrix. I mentioned this one, row times column. Row times column. And step three, add the product. Step three, add the product. Is it clear to you, everyone? Okay, so then, to so make sure this matter clear to you, we go to the next explanation. Okay, so let's go to the multiplication matrix. The process of multiplication of matrix is row to column. Row to column. Okay, let's say this is matrix A. The components of matrix A are C, D, E, F. And then times to matrix B. The component matrix B are G, H, I, J. Now we are going to multiply by A by matrix B. Process of multiplication is row to column. Once again, process of multiplication matrix is row to column. Okay, we got the product. First to first component, second to second component means step one, first row to the first column. The first component go to the first, and the second component go to the second. So mean C times G plus D times I component. Next. C, D component, go to its J. Process of multiplication is row to column. Once again, C, D component, that's the row component, times to its J, to column component. The product is First row to the second column. C time H component plus D time J component. Next, go to the next step. E F component. Go to G A component. Once again. The outcome EF component go to GI component. The product is E times G plus F times I component. Okay, 
Okay, go. Step four. EF component. Go to HJ component. Once again. EF component. Go to HJ component. Step four. E time H plus F time J component. Is it clear to you? Now the final answer is A times B equal C times G plus B I component, C H plus B J component, E G plus F I component and E H plus F J component. That's the product A times B matrices. Look at example one. Process of multiplication is row to column product. Matrix A. 2, 3, 1, 0 times 2 matrix B 5, 7, 4, minus 6 Okay 2, 3 components go to 5, 4 components The product is 2 times 5 plus 3 times 4 we got 22. Next, two three components go to seven minus six component. We got two times seven plus three times minus six. We got minus four. Next. One zero component go to five four component. Once again, one zero component go to five four component. We got one times five plus zero point four. Zero times four. We got five. One times five plus zero times four. We got five. And the last. One zero component go to seven minus six component. We got one times seven plus zero times minus six. So you got seven. Now we get all the components by multiplication. We have the final answer A times B equal 22 minus 4, 5, 7. Is it clear? Okay, to make sure clear, we go to example 2. Okay, so then, look at the sample below. Once again, matrix multiplication, row to column multiplication. Left matrix is below. A, 8, minus 3, 7, 0. And matrix B, 2, 1, 0, minus 2, 5, 6. Do you remember the prerequisite of the matrix multiplication? Okay, the prerequisite of the matrix for the multiplication can be able to multiply is the number of columns of the first matrix must be equal to the number of row of the second matrix. Look at the notation of A. The notation of matrix A is 2 times 2, right? Because there are 2 rows and 2 columns, right? 2 rows and 2 columns. Did you see? But matrix B 
membrane steel. Notation is two rows and three columns. Right? Two rows and three columns, right? Is it good here? So what about the requirements of the matrix can be multiplied? The number of the column of the first matrix must equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. For this one? Yes. These matrices can be multiplied and satisfy the requirements of the matrix of multiplication. Is it clear to you? So what is the product? The product notation. The notation of the product multiplication is A two times two and then I Matrix B two times three. Right? Okay. And then the the, the number of follow of the first matrix and this one is the number of rows of the second matrix. Can you cancel this one? So the product of the matrix is C two times three. This is the notation of matrix C of the product of A times B. Okay. So the product notation of this matrix by A multiplied by B matrix A multiplied by matrix B. The product notation of this matrix is two times three. Means two rows and three columns. Is it clear to you everyone? Okay, good. Next. Okay, now I'm going to continue this process. Okay. Find A times B. A times B equal matrix A times matrix B. Okay, look at the process how matrix A will be multiplied by matrix B. A times B equal. Look at the process. This is the step. Rows to column component A minus 3 component go to 2 minus 2 component. We got A times 2 plus minus 3 times minus 2, we got 22. This one, right? 22. Max. A minus 3 component go to 1 5 component. Look at the green color. We got 8 times minus 1 and minus 3 times 5. We got minus 7. Next. A minus 3 component go to 0 6 component. Look at the red color. We got 8 times 0 plus minus 3 times 6. We got minus 18. Is it clear, everyone? Okay, now we go to second row. 7, 0. Next. 7, 0 component go to 2 minus 2 component. Means. 7 times 2 plus 0 times minus 2. We got 14. Here we are.
Next, seven zero go to one five component. We got seven times one plus zero times five. We got seven. And the last seven zero component go to zero minus zero six component. We got seven times zero plus zero times six. We got zero. So a times b equal twenty two minus seven minus eighteen fourteen seven and zero. Is it clear to you, everyone? The multiplication of matrix. That's very easy, right? Okay, go to example three. Okay, so that's example three. Left matrix is below. Matrix A. A minus 3, 7, 0. And matrix B, 2, 3, 4, and minus 1. Find A times B. Okay, so that's what is the prerequisite of this matrix. Can be multiplied or not? Check it now. Matrix A notation is two rows and two columns. Right? So the notation is 2 times 2. And matrix B, 2 rows and 2 columns. 2 times 2. The number of the first the number column of the first matrix must equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Good. Both matrices satisfy the requirements of the matrix can be multiplied. So what is the product? The product matrix or the product notation? The product notation is The product notation is 1 C two times two. Is that everyone? That's the rotation of matrix A times B two times two. Next, A times B equal A minus three seven zero times two three four minus one. Okay, the concept of matrix multiplication is row to column. Next, A times B, here the process. A minus 3, go to minus, sorry, A minus 3, go to 2 and 4 component. 8 minus 3, go to 2, 4 component. So we got 8 times 2 plus minus 3 times 4. We got 4. Here we are. Next. 8 minus 3 go to 3 and minus 1 component. So that's the green color. We got 8, 8 times 3 plus minus 3 times minus 1. We got 27. Okay, go to the next row, the second row, 7, 0. 7, 0, go to 2, 4 component. We got 7 times 2 plus 0 times 4. We got 14. And the last 7, 0 component, go to... 3 minus 1 component. Once again, 7 is 0 component. 
go to 3 minus 1 component. We got 7 times 3 plus 0 times minus 1. We got 21. Here we are. So A times B components is 4, 27, 14, and 21. Is it clear to you? Very easy, right? That's the matrix multiplication. Okay, so let's go to the next topic. Determinant of matrix. Determinant of matrix. If you have a square matrix, its determinant is written by taking the same grid of numbers and putting them inside absolute value bars instead of square bracket. Let's say matrix A is A, B, C, D component. So the term of matrix symbolized by the absolute value of A, okay, inside absolute value bars equal absolute value component A, B, C, D. That's the symbol of the terminal of matrix. For A2 times the matrix, its determinant is bound by subtracting the products of its diagonals, which is a fancy way of saying in words what the following says in pictures. Look at the pictures on the diagram below. So the term is A is the absolute value of component A, B, C, D. Now we're going to find the product of its diagonal, A, B, and C, B. And the product of its diagonal will be subtracted. Here we are. So the determinant of A is A, B, B, and C, B. Is it clear for you? This is the determinant of matrix. The determinant A or absolute of A is A, B, B, minus B, C. Once again, the determinant of A, absolute of value of A, equal A, B, minus B, C component. Okay, look at the example here. Matrix A, A minus 3, 7, 0. And matrix B minus 4, 9, minus 6, 3. Find the determinant of matrices of uh, A and B. Okay, so then we go to answer this question. Matrix A is A minus 3, 7, 0. The determinant of A is A, B, C, D. Okay, by product is diagonal, right? So the determinant of A is A, B minus B minus C, B. This is the formula, right? So the determinant of A equal A times zero minus seven times minus three. So the determinant of A is zero plus twenty-one. We got twenty-one. Clear one? Very easy, right? Okay, we go to matrix B. B is minus 4, 9, minus 6, 3. The determinant of matrix B is A, B, C, D. So matrix B is A, B, minus C, B. So the determinant of B equal minus 4 times 3 minus minus 6 times 9. So we got determinant B or absolute B equal minus 12 plus 54. We got 42. That's very easy, right? Matrix is very easy. Okay, so let's go to the next topic. Transpose of matrix. Transpose of matrix. 
So what is transfer symmetry? Okay, here's the explanation of the transfer symmetry. The transfer symmetry is simply a flipped version of the original matrix. We can transpose a matrix by switching its rows with its column. Once again, we can transpose matrix by switching its rows with its column. Let's say this matrix A, the matrix A components are A, B, C, D. So the matrix transpose of A or symbolized by A to the power of T, this transpose, equal A, C, B, D. Okay, the symbol of transpose of matrix is A to the power of T. So what's the process? This one the process. Component A, B, switch to the column. And component of CD will be switched to the second column. Visibility once again. Okay, the first row switch to the first column. The second row CD will be switched to the second column. Similar to everyone? Very good. Find the transpose of matrices below. Matrix A, A minus 3, 7, 0. And matrix B, minus 4, 9, minus 6, 3. Find the transpose of matrices. Okay. Now we go to answer this question. Matrix A is A minus 3, 7, 0. So, transpose matrix is, so that the process, this is just that. A minus 3, we go to the column. Similar to you. In the second row, 7, 0 will be switched to the column. But I clear, right? Good. Okay, what about matrix B? Minus 4, 9, minus 6, 3. The other parenthesis matrix B. Okay. In the process, the first row is minus 4 and 9. We'll be switched to the column. And the second row is minus 6, 3. We'll be switched to the second column. Is it clear to everyone? Very clear, right? Okay, what do you think about matrix? Matrix is a very easy material in mathematics. Okay, look at an example. Two the matrix is below, matrix A is 4, 3, 2, A, 5, 0. This matrix notation is two rows and two, uh, three rows and two columns. So this matrix notation is A, 3 times 2, right? Matrix A notation is 3 rows to color. And matrix B, here we are. Okay, what about matrix B notation? Matrix B notation is two rows and three columns, right? Yep. Two rows and three columns, right? Very good. 
Next. If A transpose equal matrix B, once again, if A transpose equal to matrix B, find the value A and B. Okay, go to next answer. A is 432A50. Now we go to A transpose. Okay, the transpose is 4253A0. Okay, this is the process. Look at the process. How to transpose A? For 3, will be switched to column. To A component, will be switched to column. 5 to 0 component will be switched to code. Is it clear to everyone? A transpose equal B. Now we, we can copy A transpose matrix. So we are. And equal to matrix B. So we are. Okay, students, by using the equality of matrix, by the equality of matrix, you got this one. A equal one. And five equal B. We call this one equal to matrix, right? Okay, students, this is about matrix. Hopefully, you understand all the materials of matrix. Now, to make sure you understand all the material about matrix, now we go to the practice. Now, it's your turn to do any practice. Do any practice. Okay, so let's, let's do practice about matrix.